That fatal accident shut down both north and southbound lanes of Route 81, but as you can see behind me, both lanes are back open. Officials say it could take months to find out the cause. The Carrier Dome's director tells me that another snowstorm like the one we had last week could cause more damage, but tonight there is no word on when the roof will be replaced. The economic impact of Halloween is far-reaching in central New York, whether you're looking for a scarf or basketball shoes to complete your Halloween costume. Once Dio graduates from Syracuse University and walks out of its doors one last time, she says once she has her teaching job, she's not sure what she would do without DACA. The Monday Branch Library presidential election does have four quality candidates, but Foster guessed that either Hillary Clinton or the superhero party candidate Spider-Man was in the lead. Stop by the Masson booth from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. to get pictures with emojis and Bryce Harper. Back in 1993, the former Beatles member was booked to play at the Carrier Dome, but had to cancel. This appears to be his return. Reporting live outside the Carrier Dome, Johnny Oliver, NCC News. This shopping season, some retailers are bucking the latest trend, opening for Thanksgiving. In Armory Square, Soundgarden is one of those stores. The store's manager, Nick Shelton, says like all retailers, the holidays are the busiest time of year. But he's never even thought about opening up for Thanksgiving to spread out the rush. Thanksgiving and Christmas are the only two days a year this place is ever closed. So we kind of want to at least keep that going. Shelton says the store will only be opening an hour earlier than normal on Black Friday. A retail expert at Syracuse University says stores first started opening about five years ago for Thanksgiving, but isn't surprised that some retailers are now closing for the holiday. I think it's actually a, perhaps a trend that's going to continue. Nicholson says the stores are opting out of Thanksgiving for one main reason. The sales were not worth adding to the busy schedule of already stressed out workers. It's also welcoming in a bit of common sense. Really? We can't stop shopping for five minutes and just like have one day of rest when everyone's still going to open at the crack of dawn the next day. At Destiny USA, stores like Burlington Coat Factory and GameStop are skipping out on getting a head start on Black Friday. But there is one main drawback to staying closed for the holiday. So while some stores like GameStop won't be open this Thanksgiving, that might mean bigger crowds come Black Friday. Reporting from Syracuse, Johnny Oliver, NCC News. Eleven-year-old Joe LaRocca patiently waits for a stray ball to roll his way during batting practice. And his day is made when one does. It's his 13th Major League ball. Joe is excited, but it's not nearly his favorite. That honor would go to a ball he got to keep after playing catch with Max Scherzer before a game at City Field in May. The Nationals and Masson invited Joe to Nationals Park as the Mets came to town. As Joe was at the center of multiple media members' attention, he still couldn't believe his luck. I never thought, this is like a once in a lifetime thing, I never thought this would happen in my life. And really, I'm really happy. Joe's father, also named Joe, recorded the game of catch on his phone. The video soon went viral with millions of views online. How's that? Joe, the father, says that he couldn't use his phone for two days because of never ending notifications from his video. While Arata grew up a Mets fan and is raising his son similarly, Scherzer certainly made an impact. Yeah, I want the Mets to win, but I'll tell you right now, if the Mets aren't in it, I'm gonna, I want the Nationals to win. I'm really rooting for them. At the end of the day, Joe got to keep another ball. This one autographed by none other than Scherzer himself. The elder LaRocca did mention that if his son cheered for Scherzer against the Mets, there would be problems. Johnny Oliver, Massasports.com. At one of the polling stations in Syracuse, the Monday Branch Library, librarians are teaching kids the importance of getting out the vote. I actually got the idea when I was working late on a Wednesday night and a couple of my younger tween patrons wanted to know what I was doing with the, the voter registration forms. And so then I just went to my boss and just asked her, can we do, do a kid's voting booth? You know, we don't have to make it super serious. The library offered four candidates for both president and Congress. For president, kids had the choice of Hillary Clinton, Hello Kitty, Donald Trump, and Spider-Man. Foster says voter turnout was high. Oh, I think they're having a blast with it. Yeah, I have a couple of the older teen patrons who 
partook of our Mundy Branch Library voting and um, are now going around um, basically conducting some kind of like voter fraud, I think. The Mundy Branch Library presidential election does have four quality candidates, but Foster guessed that either Hillary Clinton or the superhero party candidate Spider-Man was in the lead. Reporting from Syracuse, Johnny Oliver, Democracy in Action. And Monster Jam is coming to the Carrier Dome tomorrow. If you're still looking to go, you're in luck. Tickets are online and still available. The doors open at 2 p.m. for VIP time with the Monster Truck mm -hmm. drivers, and the actual so show starts at 7. A reminder for those living near Sadler, there will be a lot of noise and traffic tomorrow afternoon and evening. The Syracuse Festival of Races will take place this Sunday, October 2nd. Registration will begin at 7.30 a.m. and the men's 5K will begin at 8.50. There will also be a women's 5K, a 3K fun run, a community walk, and a brunch. The race will take place at the Lamp Athletic Complex. The Hallmark store in Destiny Mall is set to close at the end of January. Hallmark is one of the two dozen businesses left that opened when the mall did in 1990. Many Hallmark stores have closed this year, but it is unclear if this closure is part of the nationwide closure of stores. Three Hallmarks remain open in central New York. Medical marijuana will now be legal for chronic pain in New York State. The state's Department of Health made the announcement yesterday, and medical marijuana is also legal in the state for diseases like cancer and Parkinson's. Medical professionals must take a course and be certified in order to give the treatment. And New York State is one of 28 in the U.S. where medical marijuana is legal. The city of Detroit has been ranked the least healthy city in a quality of life study. The study ranks 150 of the most populated cities in the U.S. They were evaluated based on 34 key indicators of good health, which included four categories, health care, food, fitness, and green space. On the opposite end of the spectrum, San Francisco was ranked the healthiest city with Salt Lake City following right behind.